All right. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Level 7 podcast, uh, where we talk about games and other random crap that we feel like talking about. So we brought on uh, a new person to talk about stuff. One of us. One hey, of us. One of one us. Of us. <laughs> hey. hey, everybody. I'm Rob Van Gale, and uh, I'm the founding member of the Classic Gamers of Colorado. <sighs> Which we were both members of. We, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It's a, a group of like-minded friends and uh, foes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you know, we we collect video games and such. But I think you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of like retro nostalgia, pop culture, like gets brought up in there. But the the main scope is you know retro video games and and a lot of current video games as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I mean it's uh, it's the community just kind of exploded over the last few years, and so. We have expanded from strictly retro stuff to everything gaming, so um, it's kind of nuts how all of that stuff has happened, but um, yeah, over the last couple of years, we've kind of exploded it to over a thousand members, so that is quite... That's crazy, dude. Nux. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's insane. I mean, there's just, there's so many people that I think, and and you know, I've always been part of the the game groups and stuff. For the most part, I was a lurker for a long time until I was <laughs> exposed. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's it's just a lot of fun to see people just enjoying the hobby that, you know, I deal with every day. But I'm always dealing with the retail side of it, you know. So that's that's a completely different element. And I love it, don't get me wrong, but it's always nice to see people out there hunting and finding stuff in, in Goodwills or finding deals on Facebook and stuff that, you know, used to be what what... I really enjoyed about the hobby was finding yeah, yeah. stuff, and I, d- I don't get to do that as much, so I live vicariously through the group. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like courtesy of businesses like yours uh, that really just give us something to talk about, like going on that hunt, finding like the coolest shit ever, like being able to talk about it with like-minded people. Like it really, it it's it's a side of that sort of you know, geek, pop, nerd, video game, whatever you want to call it, however you want to label it, like that kind of culture that really like pulls a community together where people are excited to talk to other people about like just their favorite stuff and local businesses definitely give us an avenue to do that. So we're, we're absolutely super thankful to every single business that supports us. Um, yeah, there's a lot of great stores in Colorado right now too. I mean, there's, there's, uh, I mean, game force has been around since the beginning of buying and selling video games. I think <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Lou, Lou and Jim shout, shout outs to Lou, shout out to Lou, but shout out to Jim, Jim, buddy. I, you sold me so many video games at the cost of Bonita game force. <laughs> <laughs> always wearing the North Carolina gear. And like, that, that dude always has like the biggest smile on his dude, face ever. He loves his job. I mean, honestly, it's, it's, it's Jim is one of the dudes that like made me want to like work at a game store. I'm like, this dude is having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So no, he's, he's a good dude. He's a good peep. Shout out to, shout out to game Force. games. Um, Ahoy. Games. Ahoy. Shout out to games. Ahoy. Adam uh, up there is Adam. awesome. His crew. Yeah, Adam. Adam is absolutely the man. So, and shout out to Level Seven. What up? Who? Oh. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we we yeah. shout ourselves out enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyhow, I don't know. It's it, it's just it's really cool to to see. And and I think from my perspective, and I I think this is the hardest part of it is right. You're trying to like. You're not trying to, but there's always like this label that gets associated with it, like gamer, nerd, geek, whatever. You're fitting all right. of these people, but at some point, that list just gets to be so long that it's just everybody, and it's a thousand people. Right. And it's like, oh wow, this is all walks of life. This is Madden players who are collecting every single Madden from the beginning to people who are collecting like the rarest Sega Saturn games or just consoles or just hardware. It's like it goes from the most niche to the most like broad and accepting, and that's that's the coolest part. Yeah. Yeah, no, it really is. I mean, one of the best parts about the Class Gamers of Colorado, like I think, is the ability to just be a community. So that really just kind of goes back to what you were saying. It was like, you have a long list, right? And it's a long list of labels. It's a long list of things. Everybody's different. Everybody's into collecting different things. Mm -hmm. So at some point um, along the way you just drop the labels and you're literally just one big family. It's and just video they, games. Yeah, it's, right. it's just video games. It's just friends. It's just family. It's people, you know, I've seen people in the group just um, 
display of, like amazing feats of altruism. You know right, what I mean? Well, and and that just comes with the territory as as we've expanded. Exactly. Yeah, well, that was what I was actually going to bring up next. Just I, I just didn't want you to get past that too far. Was um, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, but yeah, I mean, you guys have pulled off. I mean, we. I'm part sure. of it, but you're you're yeah. the man. I mean, it's it's still like. <laughs> Um, you guys, you guys pulled off some big feats recently between, um, the, the, you know, did some, some cool, like, um, giveaways during the Christmas season to help some community members. But then yep. also you guys did a charity for, uh, GDQ, which killed it. Yeah. It was sick. It was awesome. I can't believe the, the turnout that that got. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty nuts. Um, and you know, the one question that I keep coming back to is, <clears throat> with the group is how do we kind of get away from the norm of what a group is, right? And so, for instance, there's dozens of gamer groups in Colorado, right? So what makes the CGC special? Like, what do we do different? And I like to think that we do a couple of things different, Mm -hmm. right? And so really just like honing in on that whole community thing, like first order of business was to partner with local businesses. Which I can appreciate. Thank you. Right. And, you know, and you were one of the first dudes that I came to. I went over to Lou and Jim over at Game Force, talked to Adam at Games Ahoy, you know, hit up um, Crit Castle and Aurora. I mean, we went out to breweries that were really into retro gaming and and, and really partnered with them. So the differentiation as as we grow has kind of led us down this path of charity, right? Right. And it started within the group. Right. And so we do all sorts of like swap meets and events and stuff like that, where people are hooking up other people with like sweet deals and people are super happy and they're super pumped on it. And one Christmas, um, our buddy and group member, uh, Neil, um, shout shout outs to Neil, Neil, big guy. If you're watching, shout outs to you. (laughs) He was just like, Hey, everybody knows Neil. Yeah. (laughs) Everybody knows. Yeah. Indeed. Um, and, uh, he got a hold of me and he was just like, you know what? I kind of want to give back to the community. I kind of want to give back to the community. And, and it was one of those things where it's like, find me somebody that needs a switch. And that's, that's literally how it started um, a couple of years ago. Um, and that's kind of evolved into find me somebody that needs a switch into find me several families that need to sw- a switch. We've got businesses like yours that steps up, throws in gift cards. And then it's a whole domino effect within the group of people going, what can I do? What can I contribute? Can I throw in games? Can I throw in memory cards? Can I do this? Like, how can I hook these kids up? How can I hook these families up like this Christmas? Um, you know, and it's been tough, you know, the last year or so. Um, especially with COVID, you know, around now, everybody is in the best position. Um, and it's been really, really heartwarming to see people step up with that whole idea and just the way that it's kind of taken off. So, you know, this year, um, we did three switches for three different families. Um, and you guys hunkered down and did a bunch of gift cards. Um, I had other people do gift cards. Um, I have had people throw in games, controllers, memory cards, all of that stuff. And then we got basically got everything together and delivered it all on Christmas Eve. So that way the families and the peeps can enjoy that stuff with their kiddos on Christmas day, no holdups or anything like that. So yeah, that was super cool. It was Um, cool seeing the pictures as you were posting them up of the people receiving their gifts. Yeah. A few of the people like showed the videos of their family, you know, when they, sure. when, when the guy was like handing his daughter her switch <laughs> yeah. and was oh, like, yeah. that was, was it, it's just, it's just awesome to actually like, I don't know. You always want to feel like you're that everybody, I think everybody wants to donate. Everybody wants to like help out. But a lot of times with these reservations, like where's the money actually going? Where's this actually right. happening? And it's like, it was something that is like more community based, right? You get to actually right. see the end result and it feels like, it feels better because you're like, I, I know that guy. I could I could like hit that guy up in the group and be like, let's trade games. Right, so. yeah. Um, it was interesting, excuse me, <clears throat> um, because I've never really, like, I've given to charity before, but I've never organized a charity event. So <laughs> the GDQ thing, <laughs> the GDQ <laughs> thing that just happened, um, which was incredible. Thank you, all everybody that donated to that. That was Absolutely blew my mind, but the, the, it was, you know, it was just kind of an idea like GDQ had kicked off. Um, so, and I hope everybody knows what GDQ is like GDQ, game- the game's done quick, which is a big charity. Here, move this in a little bit closer. Oh, to hey, you. hey, Pull got it. it. There you okay. Go. Hey, there you go. we just want to get you clear, crystal hey, clear. Don't want to miss a beat. All right. I'm not playing cool. footsie with you either. Hey, girl. 
Maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> did you start that or did I? <laughs> Who knows? We'll, we'll finish this after the camera turns on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So the GDQ thing, um, it had started. Um, and I think I was posting something on the group about like how I had just donated and how it kicked off. I get super pumped up for it every year uh, because it's a great event. Right. And um, Hiram... Uh, He's, uh, he's, he's one of the group members. He's one of my admins. He's a good dude. Uh, he was kind of giving me like a little shit and he was just like, you know, like great donation. Like you're going to get a bunch of like useless shit. You know what I mean? He's yeah. like, why don't you just like donate direct to them? And then like, so we're kind of going back and forth. Right. And, uh, you know, jokingly. And he was just like, you know what? He was like, instead of just like me giving to GDQ this year, right. To the prevent cancer uh, foundation. And instead of like you just giving, you know, your donation, he was like, wouldn't it be cool? Like if we just got the group in on the entire event, got involved with the event, pulled money together, like made it into a big thing and just really like, just drop a massive donation to the prevent cancer foundation. And That's awesome, like, dude. I mean, yeah, well, Hiram's a good guy. I've, I've, you know, I we I made I've made some T-shirts for Hiram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, I mean, so I was like, shit. That's a, that's a You're like, that's a great idea. How do I it. right? How do I execute now, this? I can't say no because it's a fantastic idea. But now that I'm like mentally committed to doing it, damn it. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And you, and you can't really you know you can't really back away from that either. You right. know what I mean? So. Yeah. It was kind of toying around in my head, like, how am I going to pull this off, right? Like, how do I get, you know, money and pull it together without, like, freaking people out, right? right and right. so my first thought is, like, oh, shit. Like, people are going to think, like, I don't want anybody to think, like, I was trying to, like, take their money or anything like that. So I sent up, like, my own personal PayPal and and handed it out in the group, told the group, like, the idea and just kept everything as transparent as possible. Like, every donation was right off in the group. Everything was screenshotted, like, cumulative totals and stuff like that to get people to feel comfortable instead of going, who's the strange guy and why is he asking for my money? Right. You know, kind of thing. Right, because there's new members. They don't know. You right. Know? Exactly. Right. And they, like you you know what I mean? In a, a picture, a profile picture. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, I know you, but they don't. So Yeah. And it really... It went a lot better than I anticipated. <laughs> um, it kind of took off like wildfire, really. Um, it started off. I, I really, I honestly. So what'd thought, you guys? What'd you guys end up raising? <clears throat> so a total, it was, I believe, it was two thousand five hundred and sixty dollars. That's at awesome. the end of it, inside of five days. And then they. Um, yeah. You were able to actually like drop that donation and then like get get a cool little mention during the uh, the finale, right? So yeah, so we had, we dropped a donation, um, left GDQ um, a message, and they read it on the air live. Screen or yeah, clipped it out, sent it out to the group. People went nuts. People got super hyped over. You know what I mean? And it was just such a great event to see everybody come together and really just like love the hell out of where this donation was going and knowing it was for a good cause. And it, it really definitely I, like for me, it definitely set off 2021 like on the right foot. No, 100%. And I mean, like there's a lot of stuff going around, going on around the store, but it's always nice for me to be able to just hop on Facebook and see some like positive stuff going on in the community that I'm involved with. You know what I mean? Even if I'm not, always directly involved with something that's happening. It's like, it's just awesome to see that like you are a voice in that community for like Denver, for Colorado, right? You're representing us. I'm representing us. Like all these stores are. And, uh, I just think it's awesome that you keep pushing, pushing it forward in a positive direction, not just let's collect more. Like anybody could do that. Right. right? Anybody could just be like, let's get all the games. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I get one of each one and then I finish. <laughs> then what? Like, you just <laughs> Sorry. Um, but uh yeah no that's that's awesome dude like i definitely appreciate what you do man, yeah, man. And, yeah. and i know it's a lot of work it's a lot of organizing there's a lot of people a lot of personality and uh you know it's it's tough sometimes so you know as a as a once lurker i i appreciate what you do <laughs> Thank you. to maintain the uh, ecosystem of the group Thank you. No, I appreciate that. It, it, it is a lot of work, but I, I really, 
Um, I, I don't do it. You know what I mean? I don't do it by myself. Um, True. and, um, you know, super thankful to my team, super thankful to the businesses. And I'm super thankful for everybody in the group for really stepping that up. Yeah. I mean, we had, you know, people come in and host, um, donation streams on Twitch for us, you know, while they were doing like speed running events and, you know, that raised a good chunk of money for us. And it all just went to like an amazing cost. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Totally. Well, hell yeah. Classic gamers of Colorado. Um, if you're not part of it, you should be yeah. definitely. It's a Look Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, just on the on the Facebooks. Just hit them up. Um, are you on Instagram or anything? The classic gamers of Colorado. No, we are not on. We are not on the Insta. I wonder if you should link though. You can make an Insta and link them. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Anyhow, um, so yeah, on Facebook, it's a Facebook group, so it's kind it of is, hard. It is. It is a Facebook group. Yeah, it'd be hard to do that. I don't know. How yeah, that works. I don't think they do groups on Instagram. I don't know. I don't Whatever. think so. Anyhow, go to Facebook. Go yeah. to Classic Gamers of Colorado. Send, join the group, and uh, join be, us. Be be cool person. Yeah, <laughs> we're all cool. We're pretty cool. And get stoked for whenever the next swap meet is. Uh, yes. Hey, I'm I'm looking oh, forward man. to it. It's. Those I'm trying. Have, those have always been my favorite. As long, were so fun. It's tough. That yeah. is one thing we didn't bring up is the, the CGC has some some pretty dope swap meets. Yeah. That everybody shows it. What I mean, we get how many people show up to the 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 like uh, the <coughs> VinCon ones. So Games Ahoy up north in Loveland. Adam up there throws on a uh, an annual sans COVID uh, <laughs> <Yep. laughs> video yep. game convention. And uh, CGC hosts a, um, that's usually the biggest one of the year, right? So, yeah, um, it's definitely, yeah. A swap. It's, a swap it's, it's, like it's, it is a big old yeah. swap for sure. Um, yeah, and we've sponsored it the last couple of years. Unfortunately, this last year they had to cancel it. Mm. Um, hopefully we get to bring it back this year, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I know he, he, he I don't know, he, he said that he had rescheduled it, but I'm not quite sure what the status on that is. I think we're still waiting on the uh, the, the old COVID dial to <laughs> turn down a yeah. notch. Yeah, that no, nice. tons of people show up to that. So, I mean, it's legit probably one of the biggest events that we do, you know, all year long. But, I mean, we've also, you know, we've expanded into the VinCons. We've done, we did the concert, right? Oh, we yeah? did the concert with Bit Brigade. Did, did, did that concert, was super dope. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we do a lot of things, but, you know, we did uh, your guys' grand opening. Right, yeah. Right? Uh, CGC we hosted do, that. We do swap meets with Game Force, and the last time we did a swap meet uh, was this past summer, um, and we were actually able to pull it off at a park. So, like, people could set up tables, like, far away from each other, and, like, you know, I think... socially distance responsibly and all of that stuff. So COVID is definitely posing some challenges for the swap meets right now. It's hard to, it's hard to do anything with the word swap in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That's... Nope. Turn you off. Bad phone. All right. Well, heck yeah. Let's move on to some of the other stuff we're going to talk about. Okay. Okay. Um, we got, Hey, I definitely, again, man, you the man. Appreciate it. Love you, but baby. Love good you. Good stuff. Um, we're going to talk about the Godzilla versus King Kong <laughs> announcement <laughs> slash trailer. I'm Is this so... Sharknado all over again? Hell no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you love Sharknado because it's terrible. We're all going to love Godzilla versus Kong because it's going to be fucking amazing. I, yeah. I, what's I, our, what's going on with his size though? King Kong? King Kong? Yeah. Because he's become an adult. All right, so in this the is the original Conqueror yeah. Skull Island. He was only a teenager. Yep. Um, All right. So, like, when you were a teenager, did you grow three times the size by the time you hit an adult? I'm not talking about say, weight right now. I'm talking about height, baby. Like, like no, you, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can't be like five foot when you're 15, and then you're like 15 foot when you're 30. But I'm it's also just not a mythical gorilla. I'm just, I mean, <laughs> like dogs aren't don't grow like that. <laughs> No. Um, okay, so overgrown gorilla. Like, maybe he's a little big. Maybe they should have... Hey, here's a solution. <laughs> they should have shrunk Godzilla. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's that, all the radioaction. That, that, radioactive yeah, that would have been, the way, that yeah. been the way to do it, I think, is you shrink Godzilla down to King Kong size. And it's still like, oh, that's a really imposing lizard, but it's not like... <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it's more like... I could take, I could fight that lizard. <laughs> you still have a chance against Godzilla. You'd have to like work around buildings <laughs> as they're fighting and stuff. Like, wait, oh. <laughs> like Rampage, but that was already a movie. 
Yeah, they, they made already that did. Already. <laughs> yeah, did they, they? I didn't see it. Was it shitty? Was I don't know. I had Dwayne Johnson, it, so it had to be good. Right? <laughs> did it have I, to be? Because no, it, it wasn't absolutely it. terrible. Really, it wasn't a Doom movie, so that's good. I okay. also had so, Dwayne Johnson. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect comparison because they both had amazing actor in it. But uh, yeah, this one, Rampage was at least better than Doom was. Hey, so, I liked that first person bit that they did in the Doom movie. Well, that that part was, was fucking cool. Yeah, that was I mean, amazing. They should have shot the whole thing like that. Do you remember that? No, I never, okay. I never even watched it. Oh, dude, uh, it was awful. never even watched it. It was so bad. But bad. there's <laughs> one. There, okay, so you remember, you remember that movie that they did? I don't know. Maybe Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry. Did you ever see that? Yes. Okay. So Great. so th- that movie was just like essentially just a bit in the Doom movie where they went into first person <laughs> and he had the gun and it's like sh- blah, 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 blah. and he's reloading and like it's just they just did the game in live action yeah. and it was it was really just cool. like a tip of the hat to it the id like, works right. It was awesome and he even had like a chainsaw and was like fighting a pinky with it. <laughs> Remember the Dude. movie The Beach? the beach when leonardo dicaprio like freaks out and has like a video game like uh, yes nightmare thing Va- vaguely vaguely v- yes okay yeah i mean there, there's just a part where where leo young leo is running through the forest he's like Rrr! i don't know if he gets poisoned or if he's tired or something but something's going on he's like tripping balls if he ate some but it's just this entire like video, <laughs> it's in video game segment of him running through the forest like collecting like a pitfall style thing it's it's what? really goofy because it's like <laughs> Doesn't seem to fit into the rest of the movie at all. That's why I think the why it stands out to me so much. Um, best oh. best video game movie ever. Wait, what's your what's your favorite Ooh. video game movie ever? Don't, you you can't pick Mortal Kombat because that's bullshit. That's no. the default. Like no, no, definitely not Mortal Kombat. I mean, mm. not the Mario movie. I mean, <laughs> the Sonic movie sure? was pretty good. <laughs> Sonic was good. Sonic was pretty good. That uh, that far exceeded any expectations I had for I it. I like Jim Carrey. Yeah. I like, uh, what's his name? James Marston. Yep. I like him. He's mm-hmm. a Cyclops. Cyclops? I like Use his real name. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is, yep. That is, <laughs> that is his real name. <laughs> what's his name? Steve Summers? Gene. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's it Cyclops. Is. Is. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. I'm not that huge. <laughs> I thought you were the comic book guy. You're like, I like DC for some I, reason. I do like DC. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can read, so. <laughs> 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 yeah. yep, I took that unnecessary jab. Ha! That's DC. all right. That's all right. Eating justice for breakfast. No, seriously, correct <laughs> answer is Prince of Persia. Ooh. Bang an ass. Video game movie. I don't think I saw that. So, Hall, right? Yeah. Look, Dang, man, that's been a while since I've seen that one. Look, like, I'm trying so, to think of the bad U ball ones. Which one? I oh, like, so there was, all of there, them was or? there was in the name of the king, which was the under siege game that had or the under siege <laughs> one that had. Uh, what's his name? The dude from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, Turkey or, or Turk from uh, Snatch. Yep. The ball yep. guy. Oh, uh, yep. Fucking yep. oh, wow! Now his name just yep. blanked in my. Yep, I know. Yep, Jason Statham. Jason Thank you. Statham. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. He was he the was, Expendables. Just say the Expendables, dude. Right? Well, they're like, all in the what? Expendables. That's all of them. That's all, you know, the one action star that was in the, the one, the one dude that hits things. Yeah. yeah, that dude. That was badass. You know, he was. What was he? The transporter. That yeah, was his thing, was right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. were tight. Yeah, I they don't know. So good. And the fact that he's like that, the fact. He was in the uh, who, who's the director that does the uh, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and then Snatch, and uh, oh my gosh, Guy Ritchie, Guy Ritchie, God, I'm it? glad you're here. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, what I'm here for. <laughs> he can hang his acting chops can hang in those movies, which are good because that's that's what all the I mean, Guy Ritchie is essentially like I think Quentin Tarantino but British. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Did you see yeah, Rockstar? Did you ever see? Hell's yeah. Wait, did I see what? Rockstar, I think yeah. that's what it was called. Wait, with Tom Cruise? No. Am one. I thinking of the same one or am I thinking of Rock of Ages? No, Rockstar. Was that That was another guy. Mark Wall? That was the one that... Uh, no, that was a good one, though. That was the Steel Panther movie, right? The, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> what was... What I don't was, know what you're no. talking Although about. Although that would be We're fucking hilarious. <laughs> one of the rails now. Okay, Godzilla versus King Kong. Who's going to win? Godzilla. Who has the most wins and to make money it's, afterwards? No. Godzilla. No, it's God. It, no, no, yeah, wait, wait. No, King no, Kong? it's King Kong. Yeah, absolutely. Godzilla is going to return his ass to the fucking sea. I did. And we're going to continue this senseless, like, I bullshit mean, of more King Kong Godzilla movies. To win. I just know no, he's going to. He's not. Godzilla no. always wins. Godzilla. He's not. 
I mean, okay. Like, did you see? Did you see the, the trailer? Goku? He's the Goku of of monster of kaiju. Essentially, yeah, he just like the thing with she did the finger and he and his finger was like as big as a fucking building and they touched like it was ET and shit. Like he's he's got it. <laughs> it's King Kong. That's King Kong that did that. They ripped yeah. off Gamera, by the way. Oh, did they? The yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Much well, of... Gamera was the defender of children, and he's who I want to show up in this movie, but he's never coming back. He's dead. The he's defender. the big. Have you ever seen a Gamera film? No, he's the defender of children. So like, he works for social well, he's services a giant or turtle. <laughs> it's uh, Ronald McDonald. It's Whoop. basically the rip off of Godzilla. That's a giant turtle, and he can pull <laughs> all of his limbs into his body, and the, he just flies around by shooting off his jet. That's amazing. From inside the shell, it's oh, that's amazing. It's incredible. I I I always wanted to like Godzilla more than I did. Yep. Every time I tried to watch a Godzilla movie, he was just like. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. I just uh... did you accidentally watch one of the ones where like the main characters are these twins that are like five inches tall and they like control the universe? No, I am not what? kidding. That's a real plot point in some of the Godzilla films there's, and some of the Mothra films. There's, well, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I like that you refer to them as films. If it's a little, mo- just yep. a little more tasteful than it actually is. <laughs> in the great these Godzilla fine cult, featurettes, these. I don't know what else you want me to call them. Long, They're amazing. <laughs> long form moving pictures. <laughs> it just feels right to call them a film. Well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go say I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, we all lose with the Godzilla versus King Kong movie. This is just Freddy versus Jason all over again. Woof. Oh, sorry. Oh. sorry. Ah, you gotta give it a chance. Everybody shit on Sonic. <laughs> okay, I hope. It- Look, like I already, I already said, I've never gotten into Godzilla. King Kong is just a big ass monkey, so it's like I don't know. It's to me, it's just like the whole, I, I've never been the big monster guy. Like I, mean, I that's fine. I'm just giving crap. I look, I, I already said I wish I was that guy, and I wish I like Game of Thrones. But here we are. What? Oh, I've never watched more than a half an episode of Game of Thrones. You have this dude over every week, or well, it changes. Every I week, legit like. thought I. <laughs> accidentally rented a little person porno. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple episodes where that's plausible. Like, I, I, it's where it's legitimately it's, true. That's, yeah, I mean, that's it's how just it like, started, yeah. and that was back in the day when you could go rent DVDs of TV shows, and you rented them one disc at a time. I miss those God, days. I God, I miss those days. And I put it in, I was like... I worked at Hollywood. Video. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> well, I worked right. at Game Crazy, which was attached. I love Game Crazy. I was a manager of Game what? Crazy before I got fired. And now you're your own manager. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> hey, Game Crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we don't like the way you blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, sorry. I'm trying to make you money, dumbasses. Right, Whatever. right. Go so. out of- <laughs> but I miss Hollywood video. I miss Blockbuster. That's why I'm turning my basement into a Blockbuster. I grew up in Buffalo, New York, and we had this place before Blockbuster was a thing. We had the things before y'all had the things, right? I mean, East Coast always gets the things first, especially New York. We had this giant warehouse called Video Factory that was the shit. It was like literally like 10 times the size of any Blockbuster you've walked into. Uh, They even did like Laserdiscs, Betamax. Video games, like all of that stuff. Laser tag. I was like, what? No. (laughs) If it was laser tag, this is where I'm going to go after I die. (laughs) Yeah. And then, like, I had, when I was a kid, I'd never been into a used video game store. I don't even, like, I was like, I was like 11, and we got this, like, sweet ass store called Zappers in Buffalo, New York. And it, like, opened up, and it was, like, this enormous, like, used, that was the thing. It was, like, the first of its kind, at least in Buffalo, New York. I don't know it was anywhere else. It was, like, used video games, but they had this wall of TVs with, like, every console you could imagine hooked up to it. 50 cents, you give them a game, you get to play for a solid half hour. It was, like, the sweetest arcade you've never been to. Damn. Awesome. And this is, what, 94? 94-ish? Yeah. That's, like... That's like the dream, right? You know, when you're a kid, you're like, I'm going to have a wall of TVs. Every TV is going to have every single console hooked up to it. I'm going to have two controllers for each, or four if possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to have my library game stacked next to each one so mm-hmm. I can quickly, you know, you, you you envision these things. And it's like, sometimes you go to a store, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why the retail thing, you walk into a store and you're like, this is it. This is my, I want my house to be a store. <laughs> I want to have all of this shit available. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was definitely, 
it was sweet. That's that's all I'm going to say. Shout outs to Zappers and Buffalo. Oh, hey, no, you don't exist, but shout outs to Buffalo. Hey. Hey, Buffalo. My bud, my buddy Dan lives out in uh, Rochester. New yeah. York, and so he's... Uh, right down the road. Hey, sorry about the bills, dude. I was going to say. Oh, dude. Why? Why are you even bringing that up? Game was horse shit. That was bad. That was I mean, real bad. We're Broncos fans. We're Broncos fans. We're, we're sad. used to it. Yeah, we're, we're sad for you. We don't... Look. Don't be sad for sorry, me. Sorry, Shane. We haven't won a this. Super Bowl. Like... I don't, you guys we went even, to like four in a row. Yeah, we went to like four in a row. We didn't win didn't any win of them. At least y'all won Super Bowls. <laughs> yeah, and I've watched. Yeah. Like all we just three. keep. Yeah, mm. we get like there mm. or close, <laughs> and we just lose our shit. <laughs> but that, right. but that like half fight where we're freaking Allen toss the football at dude's face. Dude, look at him. I like all the memes that are like, if only he was that accurate for the rest of the game. <laughs> 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 oh, it was That's so dirty. great. That's dirty. My kid was just like, <laughs> like what? Gonna do that? Like, can you rewind that? Because <laughs> that dude, the hit after that was yeah. crazy. Well, because that lineman goes up and just blam, yeah. takes him down. Yeah, I I just, he's a Wyoming kid. He was he just like expected him to do more. Than dude, that. my kid was like, why? I have not oh. seen this. I didn't get to watch the game. So now I'm looking it up, and I'm going to watch can't, it. Did you show. watch we it? We can't show you. Oh, I'm watching it. Watch I... the hit that happens after he tosses the football at dude's face. All right. It is glorious. I'm look. Jeez. This game was, yeah. Chiefs, come on, Chiefs. Why you got to play like that? Dude, my kid Chiefs. looks at me, sees the hit, and he just he just does the, what? <laughs> and I'm like, y'all don't fuck with them Buffalo boys. Like, oh, they boy. play dirty, man. Yeah, like, they light tables on fire. <laughs> and <they laughs> jump into them for some reason. <laughs> Are you seeing it? Yeah, Are you yeah. seeing it? So yep. Yeah, it's like in slow motion. Yeah, so I, they dude, must be talking about it while it's happening too. Oh, oh it's so good! Uh, it's okay, so we're good. A movie. I know. <laughs> we're sorry, just, we're, we can't show you either because it's the NFL, and they'll definitely. I mean, they're worse than Disney. <sighs> Copyright claims, about baby. Worse than mm-hmm. Disney, but they definitely share that stick. They love shoving up people's butt. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's kind of been a, a reoccurring thing for me. <laughs> and no. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's next? We're talking about Oops. the oh, the RE showcase, the Resident <laughs> Evil, the Capcom showcase. Ooh. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. You Did you play it? Did you see it? You think first. I'm. Not, I'm gonna say so, nothing. So I downloaded yep. and played some of the demo on my PS5. Okay. And I didn't like it. At all. Didn't, why? Why? Okay. Well, here's the thing. Before you tell me why, I just want to point out that Capcom was very careful to name this thing a visual showcase, which leads me to believe that... There's no gameplay. <laughs> right. So it's it's literally just there to show you like how fucking awesome this thing's going to look, because it does look incredible. I mean, you can pick out, like, some textures there where the ray tracing isn't working quite right. right. And some, like, really, you know, some, like, w- the the black, you know, kind of, like, shooting up to gray if you're playing in standard or whatever. But for the most part, I don't really think it was Capcom's intention to be like, this is what the game is going to be like. This is the gameplay. Get used to it. I, I agree. <laughs> However, if you're going to release something that's like... And go... Oh. It just, I don't know. I just, it's, it's whatever. Like, if you're going to release a tech demo, don't, like, I, I, I guess I, I had expectations. I had expectations that it was going to at least be, like, something more than just uh, uh, looking. Like, okay, here's your dungeon. Here's your here's your mansion. Here is a, uh, a, here's a single character that we rendered to show you what a character rendered in this engine looks like, which is fine. But it, it just, it was boring. And I don't know. I didn't make it all the way through it. And it's like. It's not long. It's not long. It's not long, and it, and, and I mean that's that's fine. I that honestly, one hundred percent. That's why I don't usually play demos. I mean, because they always set the wrong expectation for me, and so for me now I'm like, that wasn't very fun. And so like, although it's supposed to just be a visual demo, I'm still just like left like, man, that was an a half an hour to an hour of my time. That'd be like staring at a painting for a half an hour. If that's the point, just to look at the visuals of something, just being like, I mean, if you were a painting, mm, half see, an hour ain't long enough, baby. That's what I'm saying. There's <laughs> or so, <there's> a, <laughs> it's 29 minutes and 30 <laughs> seconds more than I need, one or the other. That's that exactly. And so I, I don't know if like if you're gonna be a joke alert. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> if if you're gonna do that, 
than just have a cinematic trailer. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be playable. It doesn't have to have like a bunch of empty drawers that you open for no reason, and you just look inside of a thing and nothing happens. And there's like, it just. I get. I, I get what you're saying, but also, sorry. Also, you're yeah, fine. also you're fine. at the same you're, time, no, you're allowed to no think, opinions. Right? No, no, no opinions allowed. <laughs> I I think what they're basically they're like they're doing the progression from okay. So back on the PS4 and especially on the PS3, this shit had to be pre-rendered, right? Okay. So like what you're looking at on the Resident Evil demo, it's the progression from we no longer have to pre-render this stuff. This is literally just gameplay. You know what I mean? This is not a pre-programmed like hyper-resed up like section of it that we had to like show to you right where you can't control yourself during the cutscene, we have now moved away from pre-rendering all of this bullshit to this is legit in-game stuff. This is what it's going to run like, probably, maybe. It's still a demo. I hope so. I it's, 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 the it. game's not finished yet, though, right? We no, still right. have, like... I, and not to say that I'm not excited for the game. Like, 100%, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna get the you're game. You're going to buy it. Right, I'm, I'm buying gonna, it. I'm, what other... I, I bought a PS5, and I'm like... What am I supposed to be playing with <laughs> my cyberpunk? Yeah. I just lost yeah. twenty five hours of cyberpunk. Yeah, you did. I was there when it happened. Wait, too. what? Yeah. yeah, hold on. Yeah, the, it, the look in his eye was just pure <laughs> sadness. I updated. No. They did like a sixteen gig update, and I fired it up. And before he got there that day, I was like, "I'm playing some cyberpunk." Doop, 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 doop. And uh, it fires up, and it's like part of the game. It's like GTA. If you ever played that, it's like the dude yep. pops up. It's like, "Bring!" He's calling you, and he gives you your mission. So like. Now what happens is this dude just calls me. He goes, bring. And whether I answer it or not, his face just pops up and he just stares. And he blinks. And he like, is that, you is can't that close intentional? The phone. No. No, you can't close the phone. You can't talk to him. You can't, I can't do any, like all of my abilities because I'm on a phone call in okay. the game. So my, okay. I can't get in cars. I can't right. quick travel. <laughs> so the game's just broken. And uh, I'm real sad because I was having fun. It's a, it's, I'm so it's glad I didn't buy game. that game. <laughs> so glad. But it's so broken. I don't... If I lost almost 30 hours of playtime, I don't know if I could go back I, oh, and start it, start it over. No, nah, I'm not going to. But not even for Keanu. Like, no. Mm-hmm. And not even for not even for him. And the hard part is it's like I was building the character I wanted to build. Like, you know, I had pre-thought about like, oh, I'm going to build this kind of character and he's going to do this thing. And so like, I think a lot of like the value in a game like that for a lot of people is replaying it and trying different builds and stuff sure. like that. Well, I don't and really do the that. There's secret ending, right? Yeah. Ooh. I play through a game once. If I get the secret ending, great. If I build out my character the way that I want, great. Right. If not, that's it. I'm never going back to it again. And so that's where I am with it right now, which is a sad, sad bummer. Yeah. Oh, well. That's a bummer. What are you going to do? I still think the biggest bummer about the whole Resident Evil showcase, though, was I was expecting like a collection of some sort. Mm. I wanted a collection of something. I already own every single Resident Evil, but I wanted like a, hey, we're 25 years old. Here's like a retrospective of the original. And like it maybe is, I mean, this would be far-fetched, but like as a a bonus, you get Resident Evil 1.5, which was intended to be Resident Evil 2, but they just never finished it. And, you know, they started changing things. And like, I want like a documentary or something Packaged in with games. Or maybe they could have finished that shitty Game Boy game oh, that you revealed that, was, that one time. That would have made me lose my fucking mind. Like, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted Let's go back and finish the Game Boy Color game. <laughs> I actually, I played that on stream a while ago, and it was so much fun. Like, you could tell as far as they made it, and then when the execs were just like, no, I don't like this. And you're like... Fuck, what happened to the game? It was going so well. <laughs> Everything was fantastic. <sighs> and then they just drop us with, oh yeah, for the 25th year anniversary, here's a free multiplayer. I hope you enjoy it. Would be sweet. And it's like, fuck. <laughs> I just want, I want something for the 25 years, not a Right. I mean, Mario's crap. doing their 35th. Like, they've they've done the Game & Watch. And I mean, like, not every company is Nintendo, but Capcom is a big enough company yeah. that they could probably I mean, take one of their biggest franchises and do something cooler than what they're currently doing. But who knows? I mean, there's still I, a lot of year left. 
That's just still an E3 TGS uh, Germany con that they have to cancel. There's PAXs that they what's have the, to cancel. What's the other one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Portland Gaming? Portland Retro? Gaming. Uh, is, that one, is that one like a... Uh, con- I don't know. And then there's like the Game Developers Conference. Is that the one in Portland? I don't know if that one's in Portland. I don't know. I think what they should do now is just have one big conference where mm. everybody just gets sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's an awful idea don't do that games industry i mean damn they could even even just like a promise of like a code veronica <laughs> remake or something just, i know i'm sorry i like no I, i'm dwelling no, it's on great. it it's great that's, that's a great entry i think that they do need to redo i mean we're doing two we're doing three right they're gonna do four for some are they unholy reason are I, they redoing I, four I, I mean that was part of the leak that uh, happened with Camp Con recently. They've shown there's like two Resident Evils on there that we don't know what they are yet. And then there's one that said Resident Evil 4. Oh, shit. I it's didn't like, catch that. You, like, it's, I don't know. I just feel like that one's new enough that. I mean, Resident Evil 4 just, is the best selling Resident Evil of all time, though. It I is. Know, because it's the Skyrim of Resident Evils. Like, it's been on every console. They're like, hey, you remember that one time that you saved the president's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I remember like, when I did it on my iPod as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's. Remember doing that as Leonardo DiCaprio. That was tight. It was, it was pretty In cool. In Spain. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, I also think exotic. that Capcom was like hinting back to Resident Evil 4, too, because if you notice, like in the demo, when you open up, they purposely show you the inventory screen which looks eerily similar to your inventory screen in resident evil 4 yeah and i mean it is in a village yeah although you spend an awful lot of time in a castle in a, villi- in a castle and in a the, castle. the merchant is back as well he's just a fat dude this time yeah i mean fat guy maybe he just been he eating fu- this whole time he's been selling more yeah, he, he <laughs> they've hit. been doing the things. <laughs> he had to close up his shop for COVID. <laughs> <laughs> hit his stride and just started eating. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm excited for. So is that all they? Okay. So Resident Evil. What else did they show at the uh, at the Capcom uh, conference dot com? They also mentioned that there's going to be another CG movie, which I'm actually pretty excited for. It's the fourth one. Mm-hmm. I've loved the first three so far. They're all ridiculous, but they're fun. They yeah, are ridiculous. Okay. It's a good time, though. Right. It's just, it's it's definitely like a popcorn flick. It's like, <laughs> there's going to be stupidness. There's going to be somebody that dies because they didn't listen to someone, and there's going to be zombies. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> Duh. You meet the go. requirements. It's, it, yeah, it's every Ridley Scott movie. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yep, yep, <laughs> fair. Really with Including that? Legend. <laughs> yeah, fair. I'm just saying, Gump told him not to go... <sighs> You're so... You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it just took me by surprise. Fair. Like, no, it. Fu- <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> All right. Yes, it did. Yep. Yes, yeah. it did. <laughs> but yeah, that was. I think that was it, right? Like Resident Evil Eight, the new multiplayer. Yep. Oh no, they're also gonna give you unlockable uh, dresses for the Division Two. Oh yeah. I mean costumes. But for what? Who's the, playing the division, that? Division Who's two? playing that? Right? It's just like Who's wait, fucking playing that right now? Wait, the Division 2 the Tom the, Clancy the Ubisoft the game? Two. Yes. Yeah. The Capcom is doing a tie-in for okay. some reason you can unlock clothing from like you could get Jill's clothing from Resident Evil 3, you can get I mean that's kind of uh, from Resident Evil 1, Chris, I believe, and one like I mean, I'm the, sure the hardest one to get is the, Hunk. The Division works sure. as a crossover. Like, it's kind of cool because it's Operation Raccoon City, the multiplayer game, right? Like, right. Pretty much. It's yeah. just an it MMO. Is. So if they were to, like, convert that to a crossover Resident Evil game with them, an actual zombie now, game they, in the Oh, man, if they did that, that would be, be cool. Fun. That would be awesome because the Division is a cool game, but it's also... And I hate to say this, just another Tom Clancy game where they're like, "Here are some terrorists. Please kill them all because they are Stop terrorists. Them. Stop, Stop them, dead. Stop in their the tracks. terrorists before they okay, release the different blank purposes for the, the terrorists. Thank you very much. <laughs> there's terrorists from Georgia. There's terrorists from Venezuela. There's <laughs> That was just in the show, Jack Ryan. Now you're just making stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Tom Clancy. I got you. <laughs> Thank you. From beyond Ooh. the grave. <laughs> we can't do the Tom Clancy ghost again. We can't. He's I don't got, have it in me. He's just going to pop up. Every, you're like, no, Just I see his face on every chat. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to write a book. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, um, all right. Well, cool. Good job, Capcom. You disappointed everyone. Uh, no, <laughs> especially, especially John. I mean, I'm not I'm, that disappointed though. No, I I'm just, just took... I'm just kidding. I'm I'm cynical. I, that's why I have to have like you guys. You guys, are, I'm just like, <laughs> it's not Elden Ring. Get it out of here. <laughs> I'm, Gilbert, I'm Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> I'm like, you kids, get the hell out of here. <laughs> um, well, I mean, if you were Gilbert Godfrey, yeah. never mind. Never mind. Um, I wish I was Gilbert Godfrey. That dude's got it made, and he's hilarious. He was um, also on the Every Time I Die Christmas special that they streamed. Mm. Shout out to Buffalo again. Uh, is that like a is that like a murder podcast? No, Every oh, Time okay. I Die is uh, they're a hardcore band out of Buffalo. Oh, okay, mm. okay, okay. Um, they've been around for like. 25 I'm years a, something I'm like married that to a woman and so all she listens to is murder podcasts oh so. listen every time i die they're fucking sweet okay. but yeah they did this like christmas marathon thing and gilbert godfrey was on it was fucking hilarious that's amazing nice. i mean he's uh he's iago you know what are you yes. gonna do classic and and the duck uh the du- black duck really oh <gasps> he is yep. that's right huh well, I mean, good there job, go. Aflag. <laughs> oh, you overpaid for that. <laughs> Any, anyone could have done oh, that, but man. whatever. Yep. I guess worth it. It worked. Whatever. Um, okay. Now I'm really in the mood to play Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. <laughs> You're like, now I'm in the mood to just You're listen welcome. to Gilbert Gottfried to... speak. No, I'm okay. I'm okay with that one. But... I'm pulling up the goddamn Gilbert Godfrey <laughs> stand-up special when I get home. You cannot not get <laughs> He just... Um, uh, all right, so... What were you going to do? Well, I was just going to say, yeah, we should really move on to the next one. Uh, but <laughs> the Xbox Live price changed. Yuck, yuck no. It did. No, it and then didn't. It didn't. Never didn't, mind. Didn't. Everybody complained. <laughs> it was, yeah. They're such... Oh. Uh, like, I don't know. I, it wasn't even a bad price. So I don't even know what the price change was exactly. Wasn't it? it they increased it. Yeah. They, by, they doubled it. Oh, they doubled they it. They fucking, yeah, they doubled it. So instead of like 60 bucks for a year, it was 60 bucks for six months. Oh, yeah. They legit. Uh, Microsoft, I love you. Also, fuck you. Like, I'll, I'll still play your shit. Don't worry about it, Microsoft. <laughs> Listen to me. You can't stop me from playing <laughs> your games. <laughs> like, they doubled that shit in the middle of a global pandemic. That's true. That's pretty dick. There's tons of people that aren't doing so well right now. They decided to, and they've had such a great track record. That's the thing, right? And they've really been able to connect with the community and they've really taken on a lot of feedback. And I feel like they've gotten back on track from the shit storm. That was the Xbox one launch. What you didn't want to connect. Right. Yeah. And, and like the all digital, like, yeah, scandal and all of that stuff, like legit, like did the right things, pulled people in. And then they were like, fuck you. We're doubling this shit, which I understand why they did that to a certain degree. Right. Cause they're trying to get, they're trying to suck people into uh game pass ultimate. Right. And that's mm. the thing is like, do we do we pay this ridiculous amount of money for Xbox Live or do we just bite the bullet and do Game Pass Ultimate? But still, they took it upon themselves to reanalyze the value, right? The perceived value of standard Xbox Live. And they sh- legit doubled it. They didn't even offer 12 month passes anymore. They were just like six months, 60 bucks. That's that? it. That's what you f- get. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm looking at their press release, trying to figure out because they like put out an apology. Yep. And they stuff. yeah. They but it's also quickly. not super clear. I'm happy you're here for this. Yeah. I didn't know. Any no, they of that. Qu- yeah they like quickly it. put out an apology because uh, folks were not happy. Fo- uh, and understandably, like oh, that yeah. announcing plans to change sixty dollars for a six month subscription to Xbox Live Gold, which is currently buys a full year of the service. Right. The company also had said it would raise the price. Of a one month membership by one dollar, increase the monthly rate of three months by five dollars. So yeah, one hundred percent just doubled it overnight. <laughs> and they're right. Like, Guess what? You're okay with this because you spent five hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars on a console, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of what I'm talking about. Is like, you know what? Like they pr- they may have been able to pull that off, um, but most companies do that incrementally. You right, know what I mean? Yeah. Like Smashing. they just every once in a while like Netflix does it, right? We're Netflix raising our prices like, by a dollar. Nobody's raising their prices by a hundred fucking percent. 
Well, I'm just Nobody's wondering... saying pay me sixty more dollars for this, and they didn't add anything. That's what really pissed people off. Is oh. like when when Netflix raises their prices, they're go they're like, hey, we'll drop a Netflix original movie for that face for you to watch. Right. Netflix and chill every month. That's what you get. And we're going to raise the price by a buck. Original content. Right. Yeah, Original you're gonna content. Shows, you're you're going to get a Netflix, next, Netflix movie. Original, in right? Every to, month. Right? In addition to access to our library right. back catalog of stuff. Yeah. But, but now with Xbox, you, you know, obviously they backed down from it, but they wanted you to pay $120 a year. And that didn't include the Ultimate Game Pass either. No. So Ultimate Game Pass would have been $60 for the year on top of it. Right. And sure? they gave you nothing for it. That was the thing. They were, it wasn't like we're increasing the prices. Here's what you get for this. There was no value behind it. They were like, we're increasing the prices. Fucking deal with that. Well, I mean, that backfired. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's, is, that the, is that just the Microsoft MO anymore? Is just to let's just have an outrageous <laughs> idea and just do it. And maybe the our customers will just accept it sometimes. <laughs> like, Just feel it out we there. Just, maybe if yeah. we just throw enough like shit at them they won't be able to dodge at all like, <laughs> who do they think no, they are apple no, yeah exactly. Actually, you can't huh. play never mind you, that's, you don't that's have to true have that was a good one. android for life yeah just i mean <laughs> hey man apple I, i'm so, I, listen i <laughs> never I'm, i go i, I, go, I go both ways like, i like android and, and apple open-minded i see yeah okay, both both ways. Mindset, yep. when i couldn't install doom onto my laptop i was done with apple i know immediately that, yep it's like fuck this stupid would, company. No, never, sorry, I never would never game on a laptop. So you know, there we go. I mean, it's Doom though. <laughs> shots. Those are some shots. Uh, you know, we get we got we get into it. We get into it. There's some spicy conversations. True. That this is spicy. One Very time true. We were trying to decide what's better, soups or salads. Soups all day. What? Yeah. Salads. Wait. Why? Because I like salads. <laughs> I mean, I but define <laughs> salad though. Like what? Anything there's chicken. Is, I mean, there's dressing. You can there's have chicken. You can have a taco salad, but I still think soups are superior. You can have stews. You can have. We've never roast. talked about this. Before. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw in the salad to be like, wait, I got to be salad now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my I, gosh, that was. That was amazing. Okay. okay. Um, Not a real conversation. Soup still win, though. I soup. mean, soup's oh, yes. all the way. Soup Why would you ever pick salad over soup? <laughs> there's clam chowder. There's tomatoes. <laughs> there's a <laughs> I mean, Hey, thanks for committing to the joke, though. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, we're, we're, we're blazing on the time. Okay, so, all right. Let's keep going. Let's keep I mean, going. All right. We don't have to be this exactly is good. on time. This is either. good. Oh no, this is this is good. Know, yeah, no, it's always nice. Like when there's good news, that's the hard part. It's like sometimes we'll get down here and we'll be like, "Oh man!" So uh, last week <laughs> it's like Pokemon Snap, Hitman. No, Hitman was a week before. It was before that. <laughs> I can't even remember what happened last week. It was Pokemon <laughs> Snap. The rest was fluff. <laughs> we, don't know what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> um, did you guys see this GameStop? Stock stuff? Yes! Oh Never. my fucking God. Did you get in on it? <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I personally did not get into it. So several months ago, right? It's like GameStop. Shit was like a couple of bucks per I think share, it's right? $14. And I, and I look at, so my wife, Casey. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Casey. Casey. Um, she, check out her art. Yeah, check out her art. Super rad. Casey's Fine Arts, Instagram. Um, she is, so she switched professions. She switched like jobs in the middle of like COVID. It's fucking insane. Right. 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 But she does like, she works her ass off. She's totally fine. <clears throat> so anyways, instead of like rolling her 401k over, she was like, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling the 401k out and I'm rolling it into a Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. Like this money is legit getting invested. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was like, it's not a bad idea. Like, let's go for it. Right. Yeah. So she's like rolling on her app and I'm like, I have this really, like, and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about most times, right? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I have this really weird feeling. Like, GameStop's kind of at, like, they're at, like, an all-time low. I'm like, buy that shit up. Buy it up. Yeah. Right now. And I'm like, because by the end of the year, when the PS5 and the new Xbox come out, like, you're going to get, you're going to get gonna some sort some. of return on investment with that, right? right? And she was like, whatever, Rob. I'm, fuck it. But whatever. I'll just buy, like, 10 stocks. Like, 10 shares. And I'm like, okay, well, okay, at least cool. you did something. That's fine. Yeah. Spend, spend 80 bucks or whatever the hell it was, right? Right. Um, and so she did. She 
She ha- held on to those same 10 shares and made 35 fucking hundred dollars today off of that shit. Damn, she cashed out? Uh, she sold it. And okay, oh, good, she put good, it right back into her IRA. Good, good. Well, you right, know, right, she, right. Yeah, you know what I mean. Rolled right like, back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But she was like, she was like, sell immediately. Hell sold yeah. it at like four o'clock. Made like thirty five hundred bucks off of ten shares. And I was yes. like, holy shit. Yes. Yeah, that was that. That also happened after they got their new guy Ryan Cohen. Cohen. There you go. Was that the dude that like owns Chewy yeah, or whatever sold, the Chewy he company, built right? Chewy, and then he sold it, and now he's on the board of directors at GameStop because he literally. Bought his way in by buying yeah. like ten yeah. percent of all the stock that was out there, and they're like, "All right, cool, bring in." He needs to sell right now. People. Sell them all right now, Ryan. Get the hell. Oh man, <laughs> that would be so Run! dead. <laughs> yeah. What if he did it? What if he just bailed? He's like, "Wouldn't fuck this." <laughs> well, that's what I would do. Like, you know Wouldn't that be like yeah. insider trading or whatever the hell? I mean, no, because yeah. because yeah. Well, these are he, completely outside of his his control. I don't know. Yeah, he didn't. Well, he didn't exactly have like prior knowledge out of it. You know what I mean? Like of the situation, he didn't know how this was gonna. Or did he? Nobody did knew he? that did the he? Reddit. Did how, he? Who could have known that the Reddit trolls were gonna take over the stock market? Who could have possibly? Uh, this right. is the first time it's ever. <laughs> so it's like. Unless he's like well, king. It's of all the because r- my brother became one of their marketing managers all the way at the top. So, oh yeah, shout That's out it. to your bro. You shout I saw out that, to your bro. I saw that cool little thing that he put up. The yeah, they day. actually threw up a poster or a picture of us on Instagram. <laughs> it was me as a kid when I'm playing the game uh, Super N- or Mario with the controller upside down. Because my brother <laughs> like thought it was kid. funny to hand it to me upside down. He's like, oh, he's gonna do terrible. And then I actually learned to play it that way. Then I started doing other things upside down. So then my brother had to fix it by hitting me every time I played upside down. <laughs> and then yank it out of my hand and shove it. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Is this another one of them stories that didn't happen? Or is this no, this like is what real. You, oh, okay. no, this, this is, is checking. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Another one of those. <laughs> Look, I have the internal. I always. One time somebody argued with me about soup versus salad. And I just, anytime it comes up, <laughs> if we're talking about an argument, that's the one that's just in my head. Dude, I, I bet you, I bet you, you're super legit at overcooked. I was going <laughs> to say, <laughs> this picture I could show because it is my picture. Oof. But that's, that's me as a kid back in the day. Wait. And my brother and my this dad. It's upside down. Yep, my brother and my yeah, dad were passed out on the bed. And I was like, Sweet, they're asleep. Now I could get the world four. And he's fucking <laughs> serious in this photo, too. Dude, Super serious, oh dude. I was a I was a fucking prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to put that picture up. Oh, I definitely will. Dude, yeah, <clears> and it's got weird. like how many? Like twenty two thousand likes so far. Yeah. What? Twenty two thousand three hundred. Wait, wait, wait. It's on GameStop. Where is I was gonna say, where is that picture? This is on GameStop's Instagram. Wow. Because his brother is like the marketing dude for GameStop. So. Yep. <laughs> wow. So I can never tell you anything about GameStop, like to a certain point, but I know stuff. What? What's Richard <laughs> Fiza May doing? I, I, didn't he join the board? Oh, I think he, he joined died. the board. What's he? Do- no, I'm kidding. What? Richard Fiza May passed away. No, I'm just. No, kidding. what? <laughs> I was like, whoa, what did I miss? <laughs> I missed the biggest news ever. What? Prepare your body. <laughs> like the, it's My like they they right just right made right. the announcement and then you didn't hear anything else. I. I Dude, I, I don't I know. I really if he's done don't shit. know. I mean, he, listen, he's probably there as like an advisor. He gets on a Zoom meeting once a week, and he's like, uh, "Do the thing." Uh, he's like, "I'm Reggie Fizeme." Don't yeah. ask me about mother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like Nintendo. Yeah, it's a pretty cool company. Whatever. I worked for them for a while. Don't mean a whole lot. <laughs> it was. Hey, right. boo. And then he and then he just signs <laughs> off. <laughs> and they're like, "Damn, Reggie's cool as fuck." Was he wearing a leather jacket? No, but. I can his, I can imagine he was his aura was <laughs> yeah exactly. I could smell his cologne his chakra we're on a is, Zoom call <laughs> exactly God he smells so good <laughs> it's like pine and man mixed <laughs> together <laughs> oh Reggie all right well okay so GameStop hipster stock we covered that mm, uh, yum, go yum. Reddit um, Bio Mutant is pretty cool 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 yeah, yeah that looks red date which is cool. Yeah, May 25th, right? I'm Something kinda, like that? I'm constantly up and down on that game. Why? It looks like, rad. It looked so freaking cool. It still looks cool. And then I saw like some play, some like gameplay, and I was like, this looks kind of not like bad. I'm not saying it looks bad at all, but it is like this looks kind of average. Really? Or something. Really? But, yeah. What? I don't know. It, like well, some was... about it's changed. Like I'm still gonna keep an eye on it. I'm probably gonna still pick it up, maybe, but. I don't know. I'm not as hyped as I was now. So I think 
again, this is the demo effect, right? It's, it, it always happens. This is why I usually, and this is why it's been hard to do these news segments, because this is breaking my personal like mantra of don't watch trailers, don't play demos, because now I'm like doing these things that I normally wouldn't because I'm a cynical bastard. <laughs> I, I, I can't play a demo and be like, oh, wow, they're on the right track. Instead, I play a demo and I'm like, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Fucking demos are the bane of my existence. And, and I guess the hard part is it's like, I grew up in the 90s. When a demo came out, it was on a disc, and it was the final level of that game. Like, you get level one of Medieval on that Pizza Hut demo disc, so you know what to pizza expect. Hut pizza Hut demo. And you read, you get a personal pan pizza, as well. Damn Boom. Straight. Remember them reading coupons? Mm -hmm. That's how Legit. I got into Goosebumps. Shout out to Pizza Because they were short Hut. and you could get pizza all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, I think I think uh, we were spoiled as kids with our demos oh, man, because when a demo came out, that is truly what you could expect out of the game. Like yeah. They had to make sure that that was like a one-to-one. -one, you go to the store, you play the demo, and you're like, there it is. I'll don't worry, guys. It's just the bomb. Oh, like, um, shit. What's right. happening? <laughs> That's the timer. Never heard of um, that go off. But now it's like a demo is like, oh, this is just a visual representation of what the game may or may not look like in its final form. <laughs> 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 this isn't meant to be gameplay. It's just what it's maybe going to look like. And I'm just like, fuck off. Like, what do you, this isn't a, it, I guess it is a demo it is technically a technical demo but. pt was amazing Rest yeah the peace. game that never was konami, man yeah. I'm still sad oh, about that rest in peace konami can get that remember when people were buying ps3s for like 1200 dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep i got pt installed on this thing yeah then people were like oh shit i gotta get that digital that was, collectible that was a cool day though because i had no clue what it was and it was like when the ps4 like had a couple of games so I was, I was just looking through stuff one day and i was like oh free demo whatever let's just try it i had no clue it was supposed to be like something related to anything oh. and i just started walking down this hall i was like the fuck is this scared the <laughs> shit out of me because i had no clue what was happening at all i was like oh my god what the hell was that and i i guess that's a good that's a good point i guess what was the most and i'm not gonna bring it up again the, the most disappointing part of the resident evil thing is it just wasn't scary at all it, was it wasn't. Like, it wasn't scary at it all. It wasn't. There wasn't a lot going on with it. And I mean, it looked it looked good. I was like, damn, if yeah. this was Dark Souls, I'd, <laughs> I'd be fine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, yeah. Well, I mean, it's fine. I need to just change my expectations and quit being such a bitch, but no, I, I, I mean, bougie, I, honestly, a bitch. Uh, more and more developers are starting to do that. It's and it's highly prevalent, even in like mobile games where it's like you play a demo of a mobile game. If you ever like play a game and it's like play the demo of this game, like on your phone. Yeah. I don't know if you guys play like much mobile games. I don't. But the ones that I have, what I've noticed lately is that the demo that they have you play during the ad break for the mobile game that you're playing Right, and then you go to download whatever demo you were just playing. It's fucking nothing like the actual game, like nothing whatsoever. Like it's a gigantic fucking misrepresentation so bait of what the game is. Yeah. Jeez. So yeah, so we're starting to see that from both sides, consoles and mobile games too. Yeah. I think the last mobile game I purchased was literally on my iPod Touch, mm. and it was Dead Space. Was really amazing. Dead Space on your yeah. iPod Touch? Yeah. That's a thing? Dude, if they they need to <laughs> make this like available more so cuz that game was actually really fun. Was it like a different game? Yeah, it was a totally different game. You were a different character. Isaac Clark wasn't anywhere to be seen. Is it is it ported to something? Can you play it on a PC? It is I think it's literally only on iPod. And I still have it on my iPod from like back in the day and I I've just never deleted it. Every once in a while, I go. I mean, back I think we should do a live stream of that. Right. <laughs> I think that'd be tight. Let's find a way to get the video. Yeah, I was gonna it. say. Yeah, it's hacking into that shit. That's the hardest part, is because Apple again, they don't want your like shit to get anywhere. So I don't know how to export video from that at all. Mm. Mm. Right? Like you would have to be mm. playing it with your <laughs> thumbs in front of it and like a camera like zoomed in. It's like I can't see anything through the fat guy's thumbs. <laughs> 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 It's like, I'm sorry, I, I'm doing what I can. I have a name. <laughs> it's like, 
but yeah, it was so good. That and there was two Resident Evil games on there as well. Resident Evil 4, which I actually <laughs> mentioned, and it was hilarious because it was actually oh Resident Evil 4, but you played it in like sections. And then you like went through, like you picked a mission and it's like, I'm going to do the village level. And it was just that in- intro village. <laughs> And you get like a little text thing of like, this just happened. Prepare to defend yourself. Did you just, did you have to like move around like it was a fucking dungeon yeah, crawler or like, something? Like know, up, man. left, and it just changes it was the perspective? Like, left side was the controller, and then you had like a couple of buttons on screen, and you like shot, and it controlled pretty similar. And then they did it for Degeneration, which was the movie that came out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that one got a very similar thing to it. <laughs> and I, I just, I, that's the only reason I even have that iPod anymore. Because it, it's got all these <clears throat> games on it. I deleted all the music, and I was like, "You can't get these games anywhere else." Apple is such a it like this. Apple is such a weird like. They're so weird. They they their their library of games like it's weird. Like okay, so I they're like the Samsung new one. Yeah, of, like <laughs> of mobile games. Do you <laughs> the, do you know that you can actually go on to uh, whatever the app store is on Apple? I haven't owned an Apple product in quite some time, but you can go on there and purchase old Sega CD games and play them. What? I yeah. Mean, so, like, if you have an iPhone, you can go onto the app store and buy old Sega CD games like Lunar, the Silver Star Story. You can buy Sega Genesis games like Shining Force. You can even buy like this other RPG by Working Designs called Vi. Oh yeah, um, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't like you, that. you can actually get those off of the app store and play them. I don't is know it, how it, they got the licensing or rights to actually distribute that on the storefront, but you can you can get Sega CD games. Is it just like the NIS titles, or is it like, no? Is so it that was work, the publishers. That, that, that was working, working designs. designs. Working yeah. Designs. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I'll also throw some of this uh, footage up, but I actually just found somebody on YouTube that has some of the footage from the Dead Space on iPod. That looks really good. Like that's actually impressive for was, iPod. <laughs> it was incredible. It blew my damn mind. What? Life. Of course, I'm showing you like the darkest scene in the How, whole. Planet, yeah, but, but. But yeah, like you can control stuff. You shot crap. You even like if they latched onto you, there was a uh, a mechanic where you just start swiping it, and you like whip out a cutter and you start swiping them on screen. Like it was a so legit how yeah how did they game. how did they port that video footage though that's what I want to know where the, what know. fucking voodoo right like, like I, have no I mean I'm sure that. there's got to be a video capture something or another from iPod to maybe a, a MacBook Just, like maybe yeah. we could do it through yours I don't know I was trying to find interesting the store, but I don't know like, how to do that it was it was <laughs> such for, a good I, I have I have an, a Mac but I don't. <laughs> I don't use it for everything, right? Like, I use it for Photoshop and stuff. I'm going to see if I can find some of that. And Whatever. I can throw this stuff up, up, too, later. which is cool. So I'll, I'll definitely throw this stuff up. Not the NFL stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't put up the NFL stuff. We'll definitely get shut down. No, no, no. Definitely um, not that stuff. But uh, Yeah, and then, I mean, the last thing that uh, I think that we were going to kind of touch on was the uh, the cosplayers in Japan. <laughs> How they're gonna how they're gonna start like potentially charging them royalties to yeah, yeah. dress up in funny costumes. Well, <laughs> when it's Halloween every day, right? Yeah, it's gotta make that so money. Great. I took a picture. Look at me, I'm Yuna. That's gonna be forty dollars. <laughs> it's gonna forty dollars, please. Oh yeah. yeah. See, so there you go. There's Resident Evil, and you can actually see the buttons on screen oh, the way wait. it would have looked while you're playing it. Oh wow. And dude, yeah. What generation of iPods could do graphics like that? What is going on I think right it was now? The last iPod Touch, <clears throat> like the real thin ones that came in like yellow, blue, red, and see you guys talking crap about Apple. There you go. Look at that, dude. After that point, that <laughs> was that. <laughs> this is like what? That I mean, was yeah. That was when I bought a MacBook Pro, and then I had it for school for like a while, and then yeah, the moment I realized I can't download anything onto this thing. Unless it's been, like, Mac approved. It's awful. And it's like, fuck this. I got to get a real computer. <laughs> yeah, it's... Like, it was nice, but... That's tough. I couldn't... I It was literally restricting me from doing work that I needed to get done. Right. Because they just wouldn't allow it on there. Mm. It's like, what the... F- what? Yeah. yeah, praise praise MS. Shout-outs to Microsoft. Hey, thanks for doubling all of the things in price for no reason. Appreciate that. <laughs> Take it back. Thank you for at least changing your mind when people get upset when you do stuff like that. Well, uh, yeah, that's the thing, I mean, though, is, like, at least they're open to feedback, true. right? And I mean, it's not just set in stone. Sure. 
I mean, I mean at some point, the feedback is either going to be with dollars or voices. At this point, they chose to just stick with the voices. But it's like, I, I how do you double the present? I don't want to go back to that, but <laughs> you're, you're right. At least they did listen. At least they did listen. So that's, that's good. Shout out to you, Microsoft. Thanks hey, for baby. listening. Hey, you know, at least you can listen. You're a fine girl, I Microsoft. I don't know how to listen. So, yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's crazy, though. Sorry, I totally threw us off, go- or off rails from the J- cosplayers in Japan. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> You're like, like <gasps> Resident Evil. <laughs> Resident that's right. I was curious. I wanted to see it. Dude, <laughs> like the it's fact fun that stuff. That... I'll bring it over at some point. We'll see if we can get footage somehow. Okay. But we'll try. We I think we try. can make it happen. We but can. either way. Because then they also had like the Doom RPGs on there. Doom RPG 1. And <laughs> He's doing it again. He's doing it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Doing it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go buy yourself an iPod Touch right now. <laughs> if it doesn't already have that stuff pre-installed, though, you can't find it. <laughs> okay, yeah. don't go buy an iPod. Don't do it. <laughs> You're just going to end up with Angry Birds and fucking F, Fortnite F, or something. F. Press F. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyways. Yeah. <laughs> paying money for, um, yeah, dressing up. Some bullshit, right? That's pretty much what I think. <laughs> That's yeah. I don't know. Apparently the uh like don't they pay enough money for the fucking costume already? Like I mean they're making the co- a lot of these people yeah, make their that's costumes. what I'm saying. But I mean it's not like I mean the company that's like I mean the guy who's like I I drew that I remember when I made that guy up. He's like I want wait forty dollars. I thought it was yeah, going but the it's opposite not like- direction. No, they, no. So okay. you have to pay to to dress cosplay? up cosplay. Right, they want to. They want to essentially give royalties. Well, okay, so it's a huge industry, right? And all these I people mean, are making yeah. money off of everybody else's IPs. I mean, it's the same argument that like when you do fan art, right? Like, there's always that. How much do I have to change it to for it to be considered fan art versus? Right. I how about how about like a whole different world. human being though? Like, is that not change enough? Yeah, but I mean. What if their costumes just really? I don't bad? know. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not I, <laughs> yes, then they will pay. It's like. It, you have blue hair. You're Sonic. Give me the money. <laughs> you're Sonic. <laughs> it's it's Sonic. Where, <laughs> where does the argument end, right? So it's like I can be like, all right, so the artists deserve the money, but at the same time, you know, I sell used video games. The developers aren't getting money. So it's like there's always kind of this like uh, right. somebody's not getting the money. Like <laughs> there's yeah, just some dude that looks just like Jim from the office in Japan. Constantly, you're getting run up to. It's like you owe me money now. He's I'm going like, to work. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> my my cousin. I didn't. I haven't watched a lot of The Office, but my cousin sent me a a, a video of the best of Moe's today. Have you seen that? Have you seen the, the character Moe's in The Office? Oh yes, yes. Okay. It's yeah. So she sent me like this this best of of Moe's video montage. That shit is hilarious. That oh my gosh. Sound pretty amazing. I, I can't do The Office. I, it's, <clears throat> Look, I'll, I'll, I'll qualify this with cringe humor. Just is not my my thing. I that's love fine. Seinfeld. But that's fine. What? What? I know. I know. That's Seinfeld the one. Exce- is the fucking worst. That's the one like, exception. What? Seinfeld is so but, bad. But I don't even understand how this. Because they just do it the best. It's just so perfect. It's I was just, in the pool. It's like it's not hokey. It's it feels real. Like the next thing you're going to tell me is that Aqua Teen Hunger Force sucks too. Like don't tell oh, me I, that. I love Aqua Teen. Oh, Nobody's going to agree yeah, with yeah. that here. Yeah. No, oh my Aquatine's god. Great. Yeah. What it's just f- it's right. absurd. Okay. The animation's okay. Perfect. Yeah, All right. We're good. Carl. Yeah. We're I mean, good. I get not liking The Office though. I didn't like The Office for a long time. And it's not even that I don't like it. It's just. For me, it's very... It's the style I, of humor? It's the style of humor. It's like very much like, like the entire episode is just setting somebody up to fail. And then they <laughs> fail. And then you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh man, that was awkward as fuck. And I'm just like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to live through that. My life is awkward as fuck. Well. Like, every single interaction is just calculated and like and I fail micromanaged in my brain. The last thing I want to do is watch other people do that. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess, like, bottom line here with, with the cosplay <laughs> stuff is, like, I get it to a certain degree, but you got to draw the line somewhere, right? Like, right. nobody's going after you if you're selling a fucking car- copy of Mario 3. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like the cosplayer is making an entire anime or manga just because they're dressing up and trying to please people. Like, that Which shit's is, insane. What are we going to... But, like, they, but <laughs> they are getting paid an exorbitant amount of monies to do appearances as said... Cr- characters they and they to just show up 
Yeah, absolutely. These people, I mean, all of these conventions, they pay cosplayers to show up. They pay them to show up and do signings. They pay for their their housing. They, 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 I was they, actually, I was just going to ask, like, how the hell are these cosplayers making money anyway? They, they get so paid they, to go, and then they charge fees to do autographs. But as a convention, you uh, want these big name cosplayers, so you you cater to these people to bring them into your show, right? So it's not it's not like there's just this traveling like gypsy band of of <laughs> cosplayers. It's like as a convention organizer, like I am not an expert at all, but this is what I've learned through some some interactions is that they will essentially look up okay who are big cosplayers let's reach out to these people let's offer them tickets and you know a, a hotel and get them to come to our convention during this this time and make it worth their while and they will come out and make money we tell them how many people we're going to have we advertise for them that they're going to show up and so square enix or any of these companies right these anime companies are like what about what about us? And then there's the governments that are like, what about us? Right? Because they want tax revenue. They don't. There's just Always. too much money going into this that are I, skipping hands. And I, I think at some point, I like how you licked your. But I'm sorry. I like how you <laughs> licked your lips like you were at fucking Shotgun Willies. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just. <laughs> yeah, no. It, you think the, the government doesn't see a, a stack of money and they're just like. <laughs> like, we, we got that. Yeah. We got Initiate that right there. Operation Cool Japan. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, but here, here's Operation the, Cool Japan. Is it for anybody that cosplay and uh, does the cosplay thing and like does an appearance, or is it only for we'll collect royalties from you if you're making X number of dollars? So, so that's what the discussion is, right? So they're 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 dealing with they're dealing with the companies that are representing the IPs that are being used, as well as um, cosplayers themselves. To try to uh, navigate, because, like he said, there is a an initiative in Japan <laughs> called. I didn't make it up. The initiative. It, yeah. The Cool Japan Initiative, which is real. It's like <laughs> the next Avengers movie. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the the Cool Japan Initiative. Hold on, we got to figure out. I got to tell you the the department that came up with the Cool Japan Initiative <laughs> just because so this awesome. is this is even. It just what? makes me, it just makes me think of new Superman. Uh, and I haven't looked into this enough to know where this is actually going right now. So no, there's it's... actually the initiative by the by the um the government where they have like a department of foreign culture and exchange or whatever. It's like a Metal Gear Solid department of these people that decide <laughs> what what are we going to release to the rest of the world? So that department has an initiative called Cool Japan, which is controlling basically the food culture output of Japan and how it's being presented and how it's being taxed and royalties going all over. So the entire thing is, I mean, right now it's cosplayers, but it's going to move on to to other stuff eventually. Where's so. Kim Jong Un when you need him? You know what I mean? <laughs> he's in a shut it down. He's a, shut it down. He's in a bunker. Shut it down. <laughs> he's he's definitely in a bunker. Just, that's I don't, fine. I don't know. That's why. also fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shout outs to Korea though. <laughs> North or South? Uh, no, I'm kidding. One of those. Okay. Never mind. Where's the What's DMZ? Like Whatever. <laughs> But uh, the right that's just side. the DMZ. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the the demilitarized but zone. While you were talking, I just like randomly remembered that the Sega arcade in Japan, like the huge famous one, yeah, is just closed now. It's closed. It's what? no longer going to be the Sega arcade. Well, Sega Sega stopped making arcades. They yeah. sold their arcade department. It's going to be well, like some lame store now or something. I thought that they just like gave. Wait, really? Yeah, it's just it's. I thought that they just like gave anymore. away like a part of it. Like they were stopping like some things, but like not all things. Right. And I think they stopped their arcade and, or sold their Yeah, and it was department. like a building of arcades wow. from Sega. It was like a running it was a long time running arcade from Sega. Well they've just it's oh yeah, gone they now. They sold it due to COVID nineteen. Which sucks so bad because that was like one of the three reasons I want to go to Japan at some point. I <laughs> want to go to Japan too. One, Sega Arcade. Two uh, the, Godzilla. the potato store. Th three <laughs> panties in vending machines. Pan I mean, I just have to see one. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, the fuck that's a that? thing. That is <laughs> that is absolutely a thing. I know. That's why I want to see one. Those are the like, look at it and be like, you 
What? There, if there you, it is. you go to Japan and you hit up one of them in vending machines, you're not just going to like see it. You know what I mean? Like you'll use other senses, I feel like. You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Oh, you could probably smell it. Do you it. think they have them ventilated? Oh, no. God. They just have like small I, holes. No. They're fucking, they're sealed for your what? pleasure. So you, you can go home in private. You, you get a random. Get, s- I mean, oh. do they have an expiration date? No. No, uh, does bodily fluid have an expiration date? It sure just... does. As the bathwater drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. yeah, yeah. blood donors, right? <laughs> like, it's... I, no, never mind. Uh, yes. So Sega Sammy Holdings has sold 85% of its Japanese arcade business, Sega oh, Entertainment, to the Sega. amusement machine So not all company. of it, though, but they a good chunk, right? Good chunk. As long as Sega doesn't just sell to Microsoft or something. Please, for I mean the that was the God, don't. that was the the rumor for a that while. That was now. it. It seemed like it was going to happen for a minute, and I was like, no. That's what I thought too, because Microsoft went through that grip of time where they were just like buying every studio. Yeah, and they <laughs> bought someday they're going to release some games. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I know, I'm actually, which is actually kind of cool because I mean this is actually the first generation of Xbox that I've been interested in since like the beginning of the 360. I loved the 360. Until three Great of, system. Well, three of mine got red ringed, like Brutal. before they started just, doing. Just one like, for me. Yeah, and like I was just stuck in a situation. Where I was like, okay, fine, Xbox, you don't want me anymore. I'm going to Sony, and I've been rocking the same PS3 this whole time. But this is the first console since then that I'm like, I'm definitely going to buy a Series X. But I think I'm probably going to wait for like a Pro or whatever is coming next. I mean, they're not going to... I I can't... I mean, you're going to have to wait another three to four years. That's the plan. I mean, I'm going to be playing PlayStation 5 this whole time. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll be able to catch up on Xbox stuff right when I jump over. Look, I... Get that as well. I'll be dead in three to five years, so I don't plan that far ahead. You better not. (laughs) (laughs) Phoenix down. No, I mean, like, seriously. (laughs) uh, um, Just shoving feathers into (laughs) it. It's like, come back. Nice catch. I'm just gonna oh, let it fall. That's I'm fine. Done with it You're now. good with the beer. You don't yeah, need that. I, you don't I need got that. It's probably made. It's probably it's an apple. It's fine. <laughs> um, <clears throat> That's actually a surface. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if you the Xbox All Access deal though is a really slamming ass deal though. Like if you're interested in an Xbox, I mean, you should check that out. And I and I will the when S? I get one. The X? Would you? Oh, I'm definitely getting oh, the new X. Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely no digital consoles for me i'm not doing that get the mm. fuck out of here no i'm holding on to physical copies as long as i can but uh i mean I microsoft mean, the, only, the only bad more thing, than any other company wants physical copies. Oh, going. but keep going keep i going. know but um really i th- the only reason i haven't bitten into uh the past yet is just because what's on there that i don't already have or actually want to play mm. like i have all the halos which i haven't played like three of them uh, Gears of War is just not interesting to me anymore. I played one, two, and then I started three, and I was like, this is the same fucking thing again. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, but it's awesome. Rip and tear. And you're like, no, fuck off. Uh, it is awesome. Rip and tear. Uh, it is awesome. Well, I mean, that's Doom. I know, but, but I mean, rip and tear. I mean, but, still, you get a I mean, chainsaw. It's your, I mean, it's your yeah, favorite. But they gotta, I don't know. They I like can't. third person shoots. I'll take a third person over a first person. Oh, every day. But I don't know, man. Xbox, I don't like the Borderlands. moment they actually start producing stuff from all these studios that they've purchased i'm gonna be excited it's gonna it's gonna pop there's gonna gonna be there's gonna it's not gonna be this year it's not it'll probably be next year the year after it's usually year two or three that that we really will see like a solid flow of of new new (coughs) titles releasing where it's like oh i have options i don't have option yeah and what happened we usually see that in january Shit did not happen this January. And I know why it happened. We know why it happened. <laughs> like, right, well, right, obviously, that was retarded. excited about Atelier Ryza 2 on the PS4 and Switch? I mean, as what? much as I'm excited about the next just fucking dance for the Wii. <laughs> like, there's just, like... <clears throat> there's two things I want from Microsoft right now, okay? Uh, a kiss. Halo I want Infinite. A kiss. <laughs> Halo Infinite. <clears throat> Which I'm actually excited to play. It's the okay. first Halo I've been excited for since right. ODST. So I've already forgotten about one of them. Oh, sorry. But the other one <laughs> is totally... Like, they need to give Rare the fucking rights back to, like, all of their shit. Like, Battletoads was disappointing. Where the hell is Conquer right now? Like, the last shit that they... With the Project Spark thing, like, was awful. God, that pissed me off. It so never bad. even came out, by the way. Um, like what like the control oh yeah the other thing i remember what that was but the control that they have over like rare is like 
I'm like, are you is are you behind these shit fucking games from one of my favorite publishers of all time? Like, y'all give me Battletoads, y'all give me Conquers, y'all give me uh, Donkey Kong Country. Like, give me good shit. I mean, it's just not even the same studio anymore is the problem. It, I think yeah. it's just so far removed from what it once was. I mean, when, when was the last time that Rare was like, I mean, 64? Was it, that the, was that, uh, that was its golden well, era? Well, yeah. Yes. And they did announce a new Perfect Dark, right? Because yep. even on the 360, there was Perfect may... Dark, there was Banjo. Yep. There was the... So uh, that may or may not be good. And... Wait. What the hell yep. is that ghouls game? Grab by the ghouls. Grab by the ghouls. Well, that was original Xbox. Yeah, that right, was original that was Xbox. Xbox. But that was like the first thing they made after being purchased. Oh, was that? Yeah, because yeah. it was supposed to be a, a GameCube exclusive, and then they got bought up by Xbox, and then they're like, "Oh, I guess it's going Xbox." Yeah. Well, and that seems like a GameCube game that people would be, "Oh my god, that's a ninety dollar game <laughs> it's on the GameCube. It's the greatest game ever." Now it's seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, exactly. on it's only Xbox, so it's free. <laughs> it's a, because all of Xbox games are free. Because I'll yeah. take all those. No. It, there's, dude, Game Pass. It's where it's at. Like, I love the OG the game. Xbox. OG Xbox I can't is have so that, good. I can't have that many options in front of me. It's like Netflix. I can't pick a movie or a show. I just I spend more time looking for the thing, and then I'm just like, nah, I'm just going Oh, to man, but the, the Dark they Facebook. actually did a really good job of curating the collection on Game Pass. It's not, like, you 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 will rarely see, like, a shovelware title on That's there. That's good. You know That's what I mean? Good. Second thing I want from them, and it's probably, they probably have no control over this, but where the hell is my fucking, like, Cuphead DLC? That's what I want. Yeah. Give me my Cuphead mm. DLC. Yeah, that's that's so Nintendo took that. late. <laughs> Nintendo took that. Yeah. Well, and, and then I mean, very late. Like, hey, what is it? MHR, M M MDHR, MDHR, Studio MDHR. Like you know, obviously, like some resources went into porting it to other consoles because that that happened, right? I right. Mean, it went to the other consoles, oh, yeah, so it's, it's like. But I mean, Cuphead original Cuphead got pushed back a million times. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like from the original release date, it got pushed out like a year to two, maybe even three years from what's originally announced. So it's like, wasn't that mainly due to animation problems? Though? Well, and I mean, it's not even problems; it's just the actual process. I took mean, that yeah, long, yeah. But yeah, well, problems <clears throat> is it just takes forever to actually. Well, I mean, animate. a lot of it was due because originally it was self financed, and mm -hmm. then Microsoft came in and was like, "We'll give you funding. Make this better." And yeah, they were like, okay, Microsoft like, jobs? doesn't have a great track record of like helping studios make good games. It sucks, but they, they, they did right by scale, Cuphead scale though. bound. They did right by Cuphead, but at that, but Cuphead was like almost already a, a sure a, thing a proven. I was so pumped for that when they announced that at E3. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Fucking pumped. And then, you know, Microsoft, it, it's good that they finalized the deal. Not, not, not like smashing them on it or anything, but um, I'm just saying, like, so far, studios that they have acquired or worked with, like, you know, the, again, Scalebound is the big one that stands up in my mind. Right. That Platinum Games. Yep. That they just, just went away. They're just like, oh, yeah. I'm not going to do that. And then, you know, obviously Rare. Um, I feel, well, I've heard that they've been making Sea of Thieves Lionhead. actually really good recently. Sea of Thieves. Is great now. Kind of like pulling a No Man's Sky for those guys Correct. over there. Correct, yeah. It didn't start out as bad as No Man's Sky did. Well, But they've put so much love into how they've updated that game that it's an incredible experience now. That's good. I don't know. I just... Lionhead, Lion's Head is the one that stands out to me. Because I loved Black and White. I love Fable. And they just let it go to shit. Mm, yeah. Like Peter Molyneux. Yeah, whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole thing. Like, yep. I don't know if you played Black and White 1 or 2. Some of the greatest God Sims ever created. Oh, on PC? So yep. good. So good. It was a good time. I'm going to have to check them out. It was a good time. They so Sweet. good. Um, but then, you know, the Fable games. The first one was amazing, but still left room to be desired. The <laughs> they second promised one, so much for uh, that game. <laughs> I mean, like, you're going to be a god. It came out like, never mind. Yeah. Luckily, but maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That part maybe, just makes me laugh. No, you're right. I mean, it was another one of those things where it's like, here's everything we want to do. We shouldn't have told you all of that. Yeah. Right. Because I mean, at all. Especially pre-update era. Like, now they can just update shit in. They're like, hey, see if Thieves sucks? Here you go. Now it's good. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and didn't Peter Molyneux, like, at one point in time, like, promise some, like, crazy-ass, like, AI? Like, there was a demo, I remember. Oh, like, yeah. Like, where with using the Kinect that you could interact with, like, is hyper-intelligent AI. 
Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I remember that they did the Fable oh. Connect game. They did do Fable Journey, I think is what it was called. Right, but this was completely separate well, from I rem- that. I remember the tech demos that they showed, like, around the Fable 3 era. Wasn't um, that... Sorry. Wasn't right. that part of, like, their weird, like, VR into reality experience or whatever the hell oh, that yeah, shit they was. Had the AR table. Yeah, like stuff. where the table was. Like so you're shoot t- up so stuff. that's the hollow lens. Oh there you go. Oh, okay. So that's the hollow lens and they were showing off Minecraft with that like a couple of years ago. Yeah. So this was like 360 era where they they were tr- really trying to push the connect. And Peter Molyneux came out with some ridiculous tech demo that he completely showcased that just blew my mind and then it just went dead. I mean so that was do. that was mauling you though though i mean he was just he's a dreamer like don't get me wrong like i appreciate people like that but at the same time he never really came through with what he said he was gonna do <laughs> anything. it's like dope dude good ideas pull it off like i don't know i mean and like you already said i just want that conquer sequel that they started working on and then they're like no do reloaded it just there's like oh i already have it on the 64 make I, the next one i don't think they can make it good i think it's i think it's one of those, those oh it was definitely a product of its time that's why they needed to make it at that time and now if you release it people would be like these jokes are offensive yeah like, Duke of Nukem course forever. they are they're meant <laughs> right. to be right do but- nuke them forever man that's I still, I'm going to make a video about that because I have not touched that game yet, and I get the feeling it's going to be better than people say it is. It's not. I tried it. I'm telling you. I, once, I you get, once you get once you get to the monster truck part where you're a miniature monster truck <laughs> driving around, <laughs> you, you go ahead and let me know how fun that is. I'll tell you. It'll, it'll be, it'll be I tr- awesome. I tried. I definitely so, tried. <laughs> I'm just looking at my list of original Xbox games. That's when I trusted to... Gearbox. That's when I still was like, oh, man, I trust Gearbox. They did Borderlands. Man. They did Borderlands 2. Uh, they did Borderlands the pre-sequel. They did Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3. Oh, oh man. man. They did Godfall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, I tried to play the pre-sequel uh, with my kiddo because he was like really into like first-person shooters right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not fun. It, it's not. It really... Yeah, I played for like an hour and I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. I can't. Yeah. We can't. We can't. We do can't this. do this. This is not how we bond. <laughs> Look, I want to set, set the expectation for you. Son. <laughs> All right? This is a bad game. This is not it. <laughs> this is not what it's supposed to be like. That'd be a good place to start, though, because then it only gets better. Oh, my, my gosh. My kid right now is addicted to Metal Slug. Metal Slug is He's a good He's beaten time. Metal Slug 2, 3, and X. I think he just beat four the other day as well. And it's like, dude, stop it. Oh, did you get one of those Neo Geo machines? Well, uh, actually, I, I rebuilt an MVS machine. Nice. And it's got like one of those carts with 161 games in it. And he mm. just sits there. While my youngest is asleep for a nap, I let him play that. And he just goes to town on it. It's crazy. It's insane. Like, it's like, dude. A three-year-old kid beating Metal Slug. Yeah, he's quarter feeding it. But it's like, still, I, I don't. I, right. I'm like. My thumb hurts. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, old. I'm old. I'm thirsty. I gotta go to the bathroom. Why, it's, why am I still standing? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he'll like start playing as both characters, and you'll just see him like hit both double joystick. He's in like it, huh? double joystick, and he's like hitting the buttons and like jabbing them and shit. And it's like, dude, you're way unlocked, too good at yeah. this. Go outside. I need winter to be over. <laughs> like, geez. oh my gosh, <laughs> it's tight. It's pretty awesome and a little concerning at the same time. He's way too good for his age. Nah. Uh, well, I don't know. budget boys, that was a that was a good sit down. <clears throat> that was a good sit down. That was hey, a good nice. convo. We need to we need to definitely do it again. Yeah. Rob, hell yeah! Thanks buddy. for having me, brother. For sure, appreciate it. You guys, check out the CGC if you lasted this long. Colorado uh, Classic Gamers of Colorado uh, on Facebook. It's a group. Just g- group search it, and then uh, We're a great group. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll accept your your invite, and then you can be part of us. Yeah, come join us. It's a good time. <laughs> Um, until next week, this is the Level 7 Podcast, and we uh, appreciate you. Smooches. Indeed. Love you. Bye. Bye. We still need an official sign-off. <laughs>